One of the happiest interludes in the life of Rizal was his sojourn in the land of the cherry blossoms. He was enchanted by the natural beauty of Japan. Moreover, he fell in love with a Japanese girl whose loveliness infused joy and romance in his sorrowing heart. Her real name was Seiko Yusui. Rizal affectionately called her Osei-san. Rizal saw in lovely Osei-san the qualities of his ideal womanhood, beauty, charm, modesty, and intelligence. No wonder he fell deeply in love with her. Shortly after Rizal's arrival in Tokyo, he was visited at his hotel by Juan Perez Caballero, Secretary of the Spanish Legation. Rizal, being an intelligent man, realized that the Spanish diplomatic authorities were instructed from Manila to monitor his movements in Japan. He accepted the invitation for two reasons. He could economize his living expenses by staying at the legation and he had nothing to hide from the prying eyes of the Spanish authorities. One cool afternoon, Rizal was promenading in a street of Tokyo near a park. It was a beautiful spring afternoon. As he approached the park, Rizal heard the Tokyo band playing a classical work of straws. He was impressed by the superb performances of the Western music. To Rizal's amazement, the members of the band were Filipinos. The musicians were equally surprised and delighted to meet him. Rizal was favorably impressed by Japan. He was a keen observer, taking copious notes on the life, customs, and culture of the people. He was no silly, light-headed tourist who merely enjoys attractive sights that appealed only to the senses. The things which favorably impressed Rizal in Japan were the beauty of the country, its flowers, mountains, streams, and scenic panoramas, the cleanliness, politeness, and industry of the Japanese people, the picturesque dress and simple charm of the Japanese women, and beggars were rarely seen in the city streets unlike in Manila and other cities. However, there is one thing which he did not like in Japan, and that was the popular mode of transportation by means of rickshaws drawn by men. He felt disgusted at the way a human being was employed like a horse. One spring afternoon, a few days after he had moved to the Spanish legation, Rizal saw a beautiful Japanese girl walking past the legation gate. He was attracted by her regal loveliness and charm. Rizal made inquiries and learned from a Japanese gardener that she was Seiko Usui, who lived in her parents' home and that she used to pass by the legation during her daily afternoon walk. Excuse me, do you know the name of the lady who always passed by? Yes, I know her. She's Seiko Usui. At that time, Rizal's Japanese was still very poor, so that the gardener came to his aid and explained to the girl that the young man was a physician from Manila, who was a guest of the Spanish legation. Since that first meeting, Rizal and Osei-san, as Rizal called her, met almost daily. Together, they visited the interesting spots of the city.
Rizal's great love for Osei-san is attested by the hero's diary. Japan has enchanted me. The beautiful scenery, the flowers, the trees, and the inhabitants. So peaceful, so gorgeous, and so pleasant. Osei-san, sayonara, sayonara. I have spent a happy golden month. I do not know if I can have another one like that in all my life. Love, money, friendship, appreciation, and honors. These have not been wanting. No woman like you has ever loved me. No woman like you has ever sacrificed for me. Like the flower of the choji that falls from the steam fresh and the hole without the falling leaves or without weathering. Neither have you lost your purity, nor have the delicate petals of your innocence faded. Sayonara, sayonara. Your image lives in my memory, and undoubtedly, I am always thinking of you. Your name lives in my sight of my lips. Your image accompanies and animates all my thoughts. Sayonara, sayonara. Rizal boarded the Belgic, an English steamer, at Yokohama, bound for the United States. The steamer Belgic docked at San Francisco on Saturday morning. Rizal had good impressions of the United States. These include the material progress of the country and the high standard of living.